Group Circuit. I'm walking through a little workout you can do at home during this pandemic. Uh, stay with me, I'll be a 30 minute workout, but I'll just run through a couple of drills. Um, I'll explain a little bit how to do them, and then you know, I definitely suggest doing, doing them for you know, 15, 20, 30 seconds each. Uh, if you want to add more competitiveness to make it harder, add more reps, add more time to it, okay? All right, the first drill we're gonna do is get ourselves warmed up. For me, I got a free throw line right here. Uh, for you, find any line you can find on your court, on your floor, whatever it may be. Um, it can be an imaginary line as well. So all we're gonna do is two foot jumps, frontwards and backwards, you keep the ball high here. For 30 seconds, you're gonna jump on your toes. Quick, you might land in the same spot. You don't wanna be moving side to side. You just wanna go frontwards and backwards. Do this for, you know, as I said, 20 to 30 seconds. All right, next up, now we're gonna go side to side. So on that same line, you're just gonna turn sideways here. You go right to left, so right here. Go on your toes, quick. All right, I'm not stopping. It's quick, right here. 20 to 30 seconds, just like this. All right, after you're done with those two footed hops, we're gonna do the same thing. We're going right foot and then our left foot, okay? So first we're gonna go right foot, ball stays high. Forward and backward over the line. On your toes still. Notice my feet aren't very loud, they're moving quickly. Do that for 20 to 30 seconds. Then immediately, go to your left foot. Same thing, ball stays high. Push yourself, if you're getting the hang of it, go quicker. All right, after the same front or backward, we're going side to side. So I'm going to start my right foot, side to side over that same line, ball stays high. 20 to 30 seconds again. Then, left foot then. On your toes still, ball stays high. Notice I am staying in a singular area. I'm not bouncing all over the place, right? I'm not doing this. Right back, side to side. You want to control your body with you. Next, we're going to do something called the Ollie Shuffle. So we have one foot forward, one foot backward, straddling the line. Ball stays high. All you're doing is changing spots, back and forth, landing on your toes still. 20 to 30 seconds again. Ball stays high here. It'll look like this. Okay, I'll go sideways for you so you have an idea. Okay? You want to do this over the line. Ball stays high. Same thing. 20 to 30 seconds. Go. Next up, we've got a simple crossover step. Okay? So we're Forward and backwards, crossing over. For this, you'll need to step over a line. Just stay in one spot, ball stays high again. 20 to 30 seconds again. These next few drills, we don't need our basketball. So when you put them down, it's gonna work on our balance. So, all we're gonna do is find two spots on the floor that we wanna jump to. It's called the ski shuffle, all right? So I'm gonna start on one foot here. Jump out, balance, jump side to side, just like this. Okay, you want to push yourself as well. So if you're landing it pretty, pretty easily, push yourself. See, you want to be able to stumble. You want to balance yourself. Land on your toes, land softly. This will help control body weight, body control. It'll be great when you're attacking the basket. Okay, this next drill is going to be lane agility, lane slot. Every coach does this, every basketball coach does this. Uh, if you're really trying to find playing time on the court, defense is the way you can guarantee yourself playing time. So, Middle of the lane here, you get defense position. For 30 seconds, I'm gonna slide lane line to lane line. Just the line, back and forth. I'm staying low, just sliding my feet. I'm not crisscrossing here, I'm not galloping. I'm staying low and sliding, step slide, step slide, touch, step slide, touch, step slide, touch. 30 seconds to work on your footwork, just rapid fire, all right? So you're gonna get your deep stance, rapid fire feet. Then go 10 sides each direction. A couple steps in between, so turn, 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 turn. 10 times, each way, total of 20. Stay low. Now we can pick that basketball back up. We'll do some warm-up ball going drills, okay? So for this, no drilling is required. Get a nice athletic stance. My feet are a little bit more than shoulder width apart. All we're doing is leg wrap around. All right, so I'm starting on the right side right now. Do this for 20 to 30 seconds. You want to be able to push yourself and mess up. It's okay to mess up here. All right, that means you're working hard, so push yourself. You need to go slow, get the rhythm, you can do that. All right, then we'll go to the other side, left side for 20 to 30 seconds. You want to try to keep your eyes up the whole time. Don't watch the ball. Notice I'm not punching over like this. 
knees, still bent at the knees, my waist is bent, my eyes are up. The third thing you can do is figure eight. Eyes up. Alright, so I'm going forward between my legs. After 20 to 30 seconds, go backward. But if you're in the back side of your legs, speed it up as you get better. Challenge yourself. Alright, now we're gonna start dribbling. So we're gonna do a combination. We're gonna do 15 to 30 seconds waist level, depending on your skill level. Then we'll go low, so right around knee level, then high, which is the shorter level. Okay, this whole time the legs bent. So 15 to 30 seconds. I'm gonna do a brief before we show you. Hold on the side, my eyes are up. Mid level, it's right around my waist. I'm gonna pound it. Get some burn in your arms. Then we're gonna go low. See how I got lower, my knees are bent even further. Quicker, quicker dribbles here. 15 to 30 seconds, depending on how comfortable you are. Then we're gonna raise up, shoulder height. Notice I'm not standing straight up, I'm not like this. I'm still bent here, the ball just coming up higher. Your hand wants to stay on top of the ball. Then we're gonna switch, same combination with our left hand now. So mid-level right around our waist, my eyes are staying up, my knees are bent, my butt is bent, my chest is high, you can still see it, I'm not like this. My hand is not resting on my knee, I'm right here. And we're gonna go low. Then we're gonna go high, okay? Do that combination, right shoulder level. Do that combination, 15 to 30 seconds each. Challenge yourself, pound the ball, your arms will be burning, your legs will start to burn now too, all right? We're gonna do crossover dribbles. The same principles are involved. My knees are bent, shoulder, my feet are a little bit more than shoulder width apart. I'm not out here, I'm not here. All right, nice athletic stance, no crossovers. So first we're gonna do outside our knees. So these are called wide crosses. So outside my knees, see how the ball is going outside my knees, all right? Then we'll go in, so it'll be quick crosses right here. And then we'll go outside, so 15 to 30 seconds each way. All right, so 15 to 30 seconds wide cross, 15 to 30 in, inside your leg cross, all right? Keep your eyes up. Now we'll make it a little harder. We'll do one dribble cross, so we'll do one dribble cross, one dribble cross, one dribble cross, one dribble cross. Notice the ball is going outside my leg. The crossover is happening right around or below my knees. If I cross it too high, it's gonna, I'm gonna lose control. Also, the defenders will be able to see that. You wanna keep it low, quick. Low, quick. I stay up. Uh, I'm not crossing like this either, all right? I'm bringing the ball over to my other hand. Once you get the hang of that, We'll do two dribble cross. All right, so two dribbles, cross. One, two, cross. One, two, cross. One, two, cross. I stay up. Okay. 30 seconds each. All right, keep going. Now, if you find this just a little bit easier, you can always change up the moves, okay? So you can do dribble between the legs. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, or you can behind the back. Challenge yourself, mix up some moves, but for now we're just gonna work on a crossover, master that. You can't skip steps. We gotta be able to do the basics first before we can get to the top, all right? So pivoting drill, attacking drill you can do, all right? So I'm gonna start on one side of the lane line, okay? Spin the ball to myself, catch on two feet, jump stop. Dribble up to the elbow, the elbow's gonna fit the line, the lane line intersect right here. Two footed jump stop, again, jump stop's gonna help us pivot, so we can either shoot it, pass, or if you have good dribble already, dribble. So let's try this again. From the top. Spin the ball to yourself. Catch it on two feet. I'm on the right side, I'm dribbling my right hand. Jump stop here. Pivot on your left foot towards the center, towards the basket here. Then we're going to attack the basket. My right side to the right and the left. Then you're going to get the ball out of the rim. Go to the left side now. So I'm here. Jump stop. The ball is now on the outside of my left hand here. Dribble over your left hand. The elbow again. Jump stop. Now, I'm going to pivot on my right foot in towards the basket. So I'm here pivoting. Then attack the back side rim. Go to leg. I'm going to try to make five on each side. Okay? Alright, now we'll get into a little bit more advanced dribbling and the shooting combinations. Okay, so as you can see behind me, I got to come to the top of the key 
and then I got two, two elbows, okay? So I'm gonna start at the top, do a crossover, then lead me to the next cone, crossover back towards the middle, pull up jump shot, it's gonna look like this. Drive and attack the basket. It's going to look like this. Call the ball on my left hand. Call the ball on my left hand. Cross here. Attack this cone. My left foot, I'm going to bring it inside. Put the ball on my right side. So bring it in. In and out. The cone is going to go, hopefully, the defender's going to go this way. Find a lane to the basket. Okay, so full speed is going to look like this. Setup, you can also change up the move. You can do double moves as well. So you can do a double cross, or you can do three legs cross, and you get creative with it. Okay, it's just a basic setup for the drill, and there's many variations to it. So get creative, always go gain speed. Check these cones for defenders. Okay, you gotta get by. You do a loose double move, it's gonna get stolen, or you're not gonna create that separation, you're not gonna get a shot off. It's the difference between two points or a block shot. All right, guys, this is just a couple drills you can do at home during the pandemic. Remember, keep working hard, go gain speed. Use your imagination a little bit. These are defenders, you gotta pretend that they're defenders, all right? So the more you're able to comprehend that, you know, the more fun it will be, and the more effective your moves will be. Just Coach Sark signing off. See you guys next time.